Hey guys, Old Guy Gaming here, back again with another MTG Arena video, and tonight we're going to be going over Golgari Midrange, the scourge of the arena playing field. So, I am recording this uh, a little bit before, but this should be releasing on New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve that is. So, I want to make sure, of course, that everyone has a happy and safe New Year's. If you're going to drink tonight, far, by all means, please have a designated driver or do so in a safe manner. I know I will be. So, let's get into Golgari Midrange. So, the, one of the reasons, uh, obviously, I have to do this deck. To be perfectly honest with you, it's, uh, it is one of the biggest decks in uh, the meta right now. Uh, if you're playing on Arena at all, you have seen it. You have played against it. It is the scourge for some people to play against this deck. Now, I go back a long way in Magic way back in the days of Unlimited is whenever I started. And one of the first colors I started attaching myself to, of course, was black. Mono black. Loved mono black. Got a Drudge Skeleton and a Lord of the Pit and a Sangir Vampire in one of my first packs, and I said, ooh, this is the color for me. My next color was green. I loved all the ramping creatures, all the big creatures that kind of came along with it. So naturally, one of my favorite color combinations of, of course, of course, is Golgari. I love black-green combinations of decks. So you would have thought that it would have been natural for me whenever Guilds of Ravnica released that Golgari would have been the first deck that I attached myself to. And originally it was going to be. And then everybody started playing it. Uh, it really became the uh, one of the biggest decks out there. And one of the things you'll find out about me is I don't always necessarily play the top end deck. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy that's playing the deck that everybody else is playing. I want to do something a little bit different, a little bit crazier, a little bit more on the side. So I've sort of been avoiding this deck for some time, but I don't think that I can avoid it much longer. Uh, so I did go ahead and build one, and let's kind of go ahead and take a look and see what we've got. <sighs> so the deck, of course, most of you know the contents of this deck. I've got my Popper Land War Elves. Did you get yours? It's a free event. Why not? And it's running until January 4th for free. No cost to get in, and if you go through and just win one single game, you get yourself a copy of a cool Art Art Land War Elf. Now, if you do, of course, win the events, you get the free mine one. Um, I think I've got a couple of those as well. The Land War Elves is mostly what I was looking for, so... The deck consists of, obviously, three Lenore Elves, two Cast Downs, uh, two Seeker Squires. Uh, I do have uh, a lot more explore in this deck, because I am building a lot more off the Wild Growth Walkers, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, but when this comes in, of course, it explores. Merfolk Branch Walker. When it comes in, it explores. Now, Wild Growth Walker, this starts building plus one, plus one counters for each creature that explores and gives you gains your three life. So not only are you getting this creature much, much bigger... It's also <laughs> gaining you life every time you do it, so it's really kind of cool. Um, Assassin's Trophies, I'm only running two of these. Not that I don't have four, because I do. Um, I'm just not as sold on this one as for removal as everyone else is. The one thing that I love is it targets any permanent on the board. So that can be a Planeswalker, an Enchantment, anything that's driving you crazy, this thing can get rid of. Now, there is a trade-off, of course, in the fact that it, of course, has to give your opponent another land in the process. So I don't know how I feel about that, but if it gets a Teferi off the deck, I'm willing to give him a land for a Teferi. I think that's a fair trade. Uh, two fine finalities. Uh, really would like to bump this up to three, just haven't gotten around to getting one. And to be honest with you, with Allegiance coming out in a couple of months, or a couple of weeks actually, uh, I'm saving up all my gold because I want to be able to open up a ton of Allegiance when it comes out. So I'm not really spending a ton of money uh, cash-wise or gold-wise in opening new packs right now. I'm saving up all my gold, so whenever that new set opens up, I want to be able to blow through and do a gigantic pack opening, uh, which I'll record, of course, for all of you to kind of see what we get. Uh, I am running one Midnight Reaper. You do need a little bit of ability to uh, to regenerate some of the the, your, the cards in your hand. That does cost you a life whenever you do it, but meh, you've got the life gain. You're kind of okay. Three Jade Light Rangers. I uh, really want to bump this up to four, but again, don't have the rare card yet, so at some point in time, I'll probably bump this up and bump something else out. Uh, two Ravenous Trooper Cabras, because he's fantastic, and he takes a creature with him. He's a fair trade and leaves a 2-2 two -two on, on the table when he's gone. Three Vraskus Contempts for those pesky, pesky Planeswalkers. And I tossed in one Golgari Finebreaker. This is probably the card that I'm going to drop out whenever I add another uh, Jade Light Ranger in, but it's kind of cool whenever it comes out, because you have so much stuff in your graveyard, so many creatures are going to be in your graveyard. This can win you the game with all those little scarabs that come out. It's kind of cool. 
I am, of course, running one of the Golgari Queens, and if you're asking, hey, OGG, where did you get the art for that one? Well, I was part of the closed beta, and of course crafted this one uh, along with a few others. I uh, love the artwork for the full art in this one. Vivian Reed really seems to be the, the, the deal breaker with this one for me. This is the one that really makes this, sets this deck aside, because there's no flyers in this deck, and she is the scourge of flying creatures. Um, Azoni Thousand Eyes, also another... This is the one I was thinking of, actually. Not the Fine Broker. This is the one I was thinking of that generated the uh, the insect creatures. Uh, the Fine Broker, uh, when he enters the battlefields, return a target card from your graveyard to your hand. That kind of pulls some of the stuff out that you're pulling through. This is the one that creates all of the, uh, the things. That also gives you a bit of card draw as well. And I'm also running one Vraska Relic Seeker. Uh, I just love the ultimate on this one, and I love the fact that you can destroy creatures. So there are other... This whole deck is built around just destroying creatures and just running over people. Uh, two Memorial Follies, uh, mostly, of course, to return stuff out of your graveyard that happened to have died during the course of the game. Seven Swamps, nine Forests, four Guild Gates, and, of course, the rare cards that I do not... <laughs> do not have all of those yet. So you really do want these at four and four and probably negate the, the guild gates, but I'm running with what I've got. So Detection Tower is a card that I have only recently been sold on. Um, this is mostly due to the fact that there are so, so, so many Carnage Tyrants out there, and Carnage Tyrant probably does belong in this deck. Um, and I have four of them. I could toss them in. Um, actually, no, nah, we'll leave it the way it is, because I've been doing quite well with this one so far. But, so basically, Detection Tower is your anti Carnage Tower. You turn off uh, Hexproof whenever it comes into play, tap it, tur uh, turn off Hexproof, and then you can get rid of Carnage Tower. So I might actually have to go back, now that I'm looking at this, and alter this. What would I change out? I could probably drop the Fine Broker and the Thousand Eyes, and we're going to go with Carnage Tyrant. Give me just the green carnage tyrant. Because he's such a fantastic and cuddly creature. There he is. And we will toss two carnities in there. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look. Actually play some games with this deck. Uh, I am going to be playing these on unranked. Uh, mostly because I don't want it to mess with my ranking if I do horribly with this deck. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, if you are a fan of the channel, you do know that I do have a series called Journey to Mythic Rank, and those are the ones that I only play in rank. So I've been spending a lot of time um, playing, is it Drake's, Mono Red Burn, in that, in that area, and a little bit of, uh, ooh. <sighs> Would get the Guild Gates. Uh, I will keep it. Also, do you want to give a quick shout out to a, uh, a fellow content creator? Perfect draw. Perfect draw. Um, I do want to give a shout out to another fellow content creator. Uh, Cami MTG uh, was uh, looked into one of the videos that I did and gave me some advice on some of my uh, thumbnails. So by the time you're seeing this video, you should already see that I have made some changes to how I do my thumbnails. So Cami, that one's for you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I, of course, love your channel, my friend. We'll go in and attack the world. Why not? Curious and curiouser. Sort of waiting for the counters to come out, but I don't see them. Ooh. If this is the mono blue one, he is not going to be happy to see Vivian. Interesting. <laughs> and he quits! Um, not really sure what his deck was trying to do. That's a shame. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I don't really consider that a real game, so let's go ahead and try again. Yeah, no, Cammy was kind enough, uh, Cammy MTG was kind enough to say, hey, you know what, your, your thumbnails are a little bit jumbled. Like, there's so much information there that when you're looking at those on mobile, they are difficult to see. And upon further review, looking at them, he's right. He's absolutely right. So if you like to do thumbnails, let me know. I really appreciate it. We will keep it. Um, don't really have anything to do. So that can happen. That can happen. Burglar rat. What? Um, you can have that. Ah. 
Is this a black control deck? That'd be awesome. We <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Everyone knows this deck, and they're like, nope, not playing against it. <laughs> That's not what I want. I want to play games. I want to enjoy them. I don't want to have people just quit. Right That's two right in a row. That's... That's not a good sign. Oh, also, I do apologize if my voice is a little bit off. I am either coming down with or getting over a little something that the kids gave me, so I do apologize for that. See what happens when the kids stay home for Christmas break all the time? They get you sick. I've got all the things. Yeah, no, I'll keep that here. Diagraph cool. Mad respect, my friend. I love a good zombie deck. So it seems it would be a good zombie deck. No, I'm okay after taking my damage. Uh, do I go with the Wild Growth Walker or do I go cast down? I'm gonna hold these cast downs for things like his uh, his anchor effect. So I'm gonna go. Down. I could have dropped the Jade Light too, but I really want to get the Walker up first, so that the Jade Light can actually build up the Walker. He's thinking. He probably has something like cast downs or something like that they can go ahead and kill my critters. Nope, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. With any luck, Jade Light's going to. And something. This is a straight up zombie deck. A uh, lot of respect. So let's go ahead and do the Jade Light. Hope for good. Library that and library it again. Boom, boom, boom. Look at all the triggers. Uh, no, I'll hold. I'm really waiting for his, you know, his Death Baron, the Anthem effects. That's really what we're waiting for. Please. He might swing in with the Doom Dissenter just to get the 2 2 zombie. Because it's not a zombie yet. What? I see how you are. Okay, so I have literally all the removal. Mm. Let's kill the Dire Cat. Feels like this is a waste. No, I'll wait. Oh, really? Well, if I'm gonna discard it. I'm not going to waste a Vraska's Contempt on a zombie token. I'll do my damage. No, you can do your damage. I'm okay with that. You're in a shorter clock than I am. Okay. Hmm. That would be really nice to get out. Shh. 
sure, I take the damage. I'm okay with it. Oh yeah, for Christmas, brand new headphones. That's what I'm waiting for. Brand new headphones, and my wife got me a silly little shock mount for my headphones. I almost look and sound professional. Nope, I'm good. to see what he's got, which is, I'm going to guess, not much. He's only down to one card. No, that's okay. Interesting. He's going to sacrifice all of his creatures. Cool. Paragraph cool. No, I'm going to get Vraska next turn. So he's down to one turn. So unless he comes up with something cool. And he's in debate. He sees that scary Lanor elf and goes, oh no, I can't beat it. Yeah, if you haven't had a chance to play on the popper mat, they do all this little Christmassy stuff. They have these little snowmen sitting over here. It's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. I debated doing a video for popper just for just for the just for because I still might. I mean, it's still running for a bit. I actually, run a mono black deck for popper, and he scoops. Three straight wins with this deck. Now I understand why it's so good. How do I not cast any creature spells? That doesn't feel right. Oh well. Keep playing. I recognize this is like the fourth game, but I think we've only on how much time? Not a ton for recording. Yeah, I've only been recording for 17 minutes. i played four games in 17 minutes. Because two of my opponents scooped. At least he hung in there. Hmm. No green. That is a little concerning. Hmm. So much good stuff, but no green mana. Uh, you know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to be a gentleman and say hello. Aha, uh -huh. look at that, even no more green mana now. I have the ability to get more. Yeah, this is going to go sideways really fast if I can't generate. Ooh, a surveil deck. Hello, Dramir, how are you? Green mana. No. How about mana of any kind now at this point? This information can be Which one would I like to discard? Hmm. Um. I will discard Carnage Tyrant because I'm already in a ton of trouble. Hey, but it comes intact. No, it doesn't. Sweet. He is tapped down. Let's go ahead and do that. Is that in the library? Good. Now we're cooking with gas. Another disinformation campaign. Hmm. We'll drop the we'll drop the assassin's trophy. Because I have another one coming. Uh we're dropping the deeper down. Let's do some damage. That'll at least get us some card draw. Holy cow, how many disinformation campaigns does this guy have? Um. Yep, I'll drop that. There's Carnage Tyrant. I 
I'm one mana away from Vivian, which means whenever his little Thief of Sanity or whatever other flying critters he's got out there. Oh my god. I would assume he would take Vivian. Yep, that's the right call. That is the right call. Sure, I'll pull all that back. The upside is he has no more blue mana to cast them again. I'd rather put Ravenous Chupacabra out there to kill something, but he's going to make me discard it, so... I guess he's just going to be a 2-2 two -two body out there to kill something. Yeah, because he's just going to disinformation campaign and I'm going to drop the Carnage Tyrant. And I'm, I'm actually kind of okay with that because the game's almost over. Okay. Draw. Draw. Did I, I've got to share, I've got a story of someone who actually ritual suited themselves in a land of war. I was playing a game against a guy that was playing a black zombie deck. Um, he ritual suited to get all the stuff off the board. He was down to six life and didn't realize that all of the creatures going off the board were going to take six life off his life. And he killed himself using his own ritual. So it was actually really amazing. Um, no, I'm going to drop the land. Unless you cast something, my friend, you're dead. Okay. How come my Dreamer deck never worked this well? Doom Whisper, nice. <laughs> no such luck. I'm going to make the safe assumption that he's not going to pay the two life to surveil. Okay, now we're, he was holding on to this this whole time? I guess so, he's way more patient than I am. Ravenous Chupacabra, I do not want to have him milling my deck, but I also don't want to have to eat six. Now, Nah, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I should have killed the... I should have killed the Doom Whisperer. Because if I had killed the Doom Whisperer, at least I'd have lived one more turn. But as it stands right now, he's going to hit me in the face of 12. Good game. <laughs> Interesting that he was that patient to hold on to those cards that long. Okay, we'll play one more. Let me give you guys your full... You've watched me make a stupid mistake. It happens. The number of times the comments of a video is like, Dude, you at least won turn four. What were you doing? I, I, I don't know. I, I missed it. I genuinely missed it. Didn't look at it. Didn't see it. Genuinely missed it. Hmm. Interesting. Again, no green mana. What is up today? Let's see how it goes. Ha ha ha. I too will play attack again. There, now we're both a turn behind. 
Oh, this looks like a mirror match. Midnight Raider. Yeah, this looks familiar. I was waiting for this. Um, no, we'll wait. He's gonna get all the cool stuff he needs. No, I'll take that. <laughs> we are legitimately playing the same deck. No, I'll take that. Okay, so how do we want to do this? No, I'm going to Ravenous Chupacabra him. Take out the Hog of Walker. My thought process, of course, is if he attacks with a Midnight Reaper, the Trooper Cobra can kill it. Ho ho ho! I see he took one of mine. No, I'm good. <coughs> so my Vraskus contempts in there for his Planeswalkers. Is he gonna ravenous my ravenous? No, my gold bar. Oh, okay, works for me. Sure, because I'm going to kill his. Hmm, <coughs> excuse me. Carnage time. Oh, oh, oh. Good thing I've got an answer to your carnage time. Right? Not a legendary creature. Watch this, kids. This is why this is here. No! 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 That was a mistake. All right, well, I really need Vivian over her, so... Oh, I don't believe I just did that. That's so irritating. I have the answer for it right there. Well, I'm going to pay for that. Yep. It's okay, I'd rather have Vivian. I'm going to pay for that. Well earned. I appreciate that. Okay, so let's do this right this time. Vivian might have been able to draw me the card. Eh, that's probably what I should have done. So what he's going to do is he's going to find Finality of the Carnage Tyrant. He's going to cast it and then I'm going to do it again. Sure. Oh my goodness, anything but mana at this point, that would be nice. I 
can get creatures, that would be really cool. Unfortunately, I'm not getting any creatures at all. There we go. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. Ooh. The wilds are my shield. He keeps good gaming me. I'm not sure what he thinks he's got that I don't. That would be it. That would be why he's doing it. Alright. Fantastic game. Lost your fellow. I just couldn't get the creatures up for this one. Anyway, I hope that is a good one. You've seen both the good and the bad and the uh, the, the people quitting when they say they're playing Golgari. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, had a ton of fun with this deck. Uh, I am going to continue to toy with it and play with it and see what I can get going with it. So, um, if you have a good Golgari build that you see, there's stuff that you have in you and yours that I don't have in mind that you think, hey, you should probably try that one. Let me know in the comments down below. That'd be awesome. I would really appreciate it. Um, like and subscribe. That'd be fantastic. We are looking at December 29th at the time that I am recording this. I am three three subscribers away from hitting 100, which was kind of my 2018 goal. So make a New Year's resolution, support a smaller channel, and just hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help us out, and I really appreciate it. Um, there is also a Patreon uh, Patreon that you can help if what if you are so inclined. That is patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga. I do actually have a Patreon now, so you'll find a new closing at the end of all of my videos now where I thank all of my Patreons and put their name up on the screen. If you'd like to have your name on that screen, send me a dollar. That'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, until next time, guys, we will see you in the arena. This video was brought to you in no small part by our Patreons. If you would like to help out the channel, go to www.patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga and thank you for your support.